So the age of AI art is upon us. And if it wasn't upon us yesterday, it definitely is today. I've seen so much AI art recently and just, you know, crowding my feed, crowding all of the social media that I usually see for inspiration. Pinterest is full of AI art now. Now when I go look up references, it's almost hard for me to distinguish between what's actually an artist and what's an AI. And one of the dead giveaways right now is hair, which is funny, hair and fingers, obviously. I've seen companies use AI art and I'm sure there's I'm sure there's lots and lots of people right now that are actually utilizing this tool and I'll hand it to them. It's a great tool. Even as an artist, I would love to be able to quickly generate an idea for a reference that I have in my head instead of spending hours and hours on Pinterest and then losing, you know, motivation and trade that in. But the price of that right now is too high and I really value my fellow artists, so I'm not going to consume myself in creating these AI art pieces because I know that it is actually stealing from artists and it's not a true original generation. It's like, you know, a Frankenstein of all these different art pieces just stitched together. And it's really unfortunate until they change that, I don't think I'll be able to in good faith use an AI art tool. But that aside, even though the weight of this AI art age is so crushing for so many artists, I am still going to continue to learn and grow as an artist because there is really just something specifically unique about being able to reach inside the depths of my own mind and pull out something completely bizarre, completely uniquely me, you know? And you can use these AI art tools, but you're never going to have the outcome that you would have when you create an original piece of art. The AI could never hope to reach into the depths of your soul like you can, you as a creator. And if you haven't learned to utilize these tools yet, you know, you're a beginning artist, um, I'd really recommend, honestly, don't, don't let this AI art get you down. When I was a kid, what inspired me the most was looking at pieces of art in children's books that people drew and knowing that a human did it and that that, because a human did it, it's possible for me to do it too. I am someone who deeply values, you know, inspiration and inspiring others. And for that reason, I'm just not gonna ever give up. You know, AI art might get really sophisticated and it might get to a point where it can like read your brain waves and paint exactly what you're thinking, but the nuances and the process of creating a piece of art is just something so sacred to me that I've learned throughout the years. And sometimes, you know, you have this idea in your head and what comes out onto the paper is totally different, but it's so perfect. In, the, in that same sense, you know? And having that instant art creation, it'll just totally get rid of that whole sacred process. And for that reason, I'm going to continue doing art and I'm gonna continue inspiring people. And I hope you do too. Love you guys.